Okay, this show is not going to be monetized. This is going to be under uh, Creative Commons. Um, this is not going to be a monetized show um, because due to the passing of Kevin Samuels, a, a very important, um, very important person in the manosphere, you know, the black manosphere, really in, in public discourse, somebody that was really needed, even, you know, I didn't always agree with everything he said, but, you know, I agreed. I think most people, a lot of guys could say that, but we, we agreed with, you know, uh, obviously his main message was, you know, you, you know, in life, a lot of times you get what you deserve. And if you want more, you have to improve, whether that be male or woman. You know what I mean? So that like that his ob his objectivity obviously was self improvement. You know, and really with with him, he really seemed like he was trying to um um really save black families in his own way. You know what I mean? And he wasn't com you know he 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 never did nothing illegal. He didn't do no you know he didn't do nothing foul. From from what I from what I've seen from him. So it was it was quite disappointing when, you know, when when the news came out um, about him passing, you know, I, I was I was performing a gig, actually. And when it happened, you know, I was actually in the days really for the rest of the time, because that that was uh, that I was really upset about that. But what was even more upsetting was. um, Like just seeing the responses you know women not even just women it was you know you had black politicians uh men or, or even men celebrating this man's death and that's that's crazy to me that is crazy i want people to really pay attention you know they were like there was women like celebrating his death and li literally Millie rocking on this uh Millie rocking on this this man grave which is cra which is crazy to me this dude ain't never from what i've seen has never did anything wrong just said the truth and for 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 women to be celebrate for uh, for women to, to be celebrating his death that's that's crazy to me especially like now like you know you know, obviously, I'm a big Corey Holcomb fan. This dude got kicked out Twitter, you know, for making fun of fat women. But now these are the same people who just get to stay on Twitter. Get then they get to just 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 shit on this man's name going out. That's wow. That's all I had to say. But I have um this is like like I said, this is not gonna be um monetized or or anything i'm gonna put this under creative uh whatever or see 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 what i can do on that and i'm gonna donate some 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 something but um i want you to see a clip you know people see a lot like a lot of the kevin samuels clips you know he, uh you know him trying to tell the truth to like a single a single mom you know uh, uh trying to get a high value man you know what i'm saying and i and i told you my my opinion about that but i want you to look at this clip this was the mo me this clip stands out out of all of the clips but it was never clipped by anybody i just want i just want people to see this you know and shout out man because kevin samuels made a lot of people rich just from reacting to his videos <laughs> he done gave people like fifty thousand subscribe five fifty thousand i've seen people that was like at 500 subscribers and they just shoot up just from reacting to his videos so like i said like man you know rest in peace to kevin samuels but i want you to see this specific kevin samuels clip this is ve very interesting because this is very telling where the direction we're going in the dating market especially when we we talk about um you know, they're always talking about, you know, you know, black relationships and shit, and shit like that, how it's going down or, you know, black men are looking for white women and whatever, you know, and then vice versa. But this is very telling. I want you to see this this clip real quick. It's a quick 
it, it was at the end of his Winter is Coming uh, show. And by the way, I'm not even subscribed to his uh, his channel, but I remember seeing uh, this. And everybody was going off on the, uh, the 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 older single mom that he was grilling earlier, but rightfully so too. But this one was very telling. I want you to to to, to see this real quick. It's not realistic to think a, a man should come along and be responsible for somebody else. This show, the power is this not act the right guy. So we're gonna have to end this. So this is this this week's gonna be fire. Fair use, fair use. Part two to this show. Fair use. It's going to be... Um, I'm going to talk over until we get to the part. I think I might have been a little bit early. Um, if you have a disagreement, raise your hand. But it's coming up. It's coming up. And Hello. I'm going to... Okay. Hello? Here we go. Hello. Am I on? Pay attention. Uh, briefly, do you have a disagreement or, or you have an, uh, do you have a question or a disagreement? So to set up the background, this is a girl in medical school um, looking for a black man or something like that. But let's continue. Oh, no, I don't disagree whatsoever. I I tapped in because you had brought up Sierra. And oh, okay, she, hold, on, um, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I, I have very limited power right now, and it's, and it's kind of sketchy right now. So I'm trying to get to the people who have a, a question or a disagreement. Hold on just a second. Um, do any of you ladies in here have a question or a disagreement? If so, raise your hand. Oh, I don't. Okay, in the Zoom should call. be right one, two, here. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay, Sharon. All right. All right. I mute yourself. All right. The medical student's coming up right now. Hi. Sorry about Hello. that. Hello. So my name is Sharon, and I'm yeah, this in North is Carolina. It. And I was just wondering. Oh, I'm 21, by the way. But I was just wondering. I'll pay attention. 21 year old, North Carolina. Medical student. Oh, I wish I had the buzzer on me. I already know. Hearing <laughs> about, um, so basically, I'm in med school, and I see a lot of black men, and they're also in med school as well. But I noticed that those men in my med school don't black girls; they want white girls. I know you've spoken about this sometime um, on your channel and stuff like now that. Now that's cap, because do you see that general sweeping, just sweeping generalization? That she just made about black men not looking for a uh, black woman. Now, usually when women say this type of man is not looking for me, or or man is, they're talking about a top percentage of men that they're looking for, and because that person don't want him, that means now everybody don't want him. Like for example, I remember they were talking about all black men ain't shit. This girl, it was like this dark skinned girl, and she was talking about, um, I guess what well, like Chris Brown didn't let her in the club or something because she was too dark skinned or or some like she had let out a hint that it was Chris Brown that did that, but basically she based her her whole entire perception of men based on just what the celebrities thought about her, and I was like. You know, there's like so many other like dudes. You know, you know never mind. Let's get continue going. So this is and Kevin Samuels calls her out on this and see how he breaks this down. That, but I was wondering what else I could do as a black woman to. Well, I guess hold on. Uh, no, so mm -hmm. when you say when you make a sweeping generalization, I'm going to ask some questions. Exactly. Because oftentimes when you women talk about men, you talk about 100 percent of men. Like it's the ten percent of men you're interested in. Exactly. So when you say they want white women, you're speaking as if a hundred or the vast majority of black men in medical school only want white women. Is that what you're trying? Exactly. Exactly. Myth. Straight myth. And first of all, what he's saying is statistically right. They did, like you know, plenty of fish and tender studies. Women only find it was like. Only ten percent of of the men in those dating sites attractive, and the rest they actually deem not like average. They deem them below average in attraction. Context saying, 
No, I'm not trying to say all the. Well, that's what you like... said. But that's what you said, and that's why I'm clarifying. Exactly. They mean the black men you would be interested in, according to you, they're interested in white women. Exactly. The question is why. The that... they, so have you asked? Them, have you asked them why? Hmm. Um, I've asked some of them why, and, it's and what just did they that say? That um, a lot of them said they were kind of like scarred in a way that um, based on like <laughs> scarred from who. Or where Scar, from school. whom? Scarred by other black women. Uh -huh. So, for example, they didn't like how other black women acted earlier on right. in their life. So they All right. learned how to like white women, I guess. So, if you ask the men you're interested in why they don't, or they're not interested in black women, and you heard what they said, why are you asking me what to do? Why don't you do what they want? <laughs> it's not about. It's not like they're telling me. Yeah, I hear what he said. Why don't you just do what they want? Facts. And I'm going to tell you why that's facts. I, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, you it, look, a woman will make changes, bruh, if she really serious about her future. The reason why a lot of white girls are stealing those black guys because they not, a, you got to adjust. If, if if you're looking for, especially, I could tell she's probably talking about one person. <laughs> that like I already like I already know like when it comes to stuff like this, it's like you already know she's talking about one person. But shouldn't that be a person be worth fighting for? This is a let's so let's continue. Oh, I need to do this, this, and that in order to. I'm asking but do, what but, else I could do. Well, well, well but see, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What I'm trying to get you to understand is black men, like you're talking about, typically aren't asked. But if they told you why, are you presenting a better product and are you being competitive? How are you trying to steal Karen's boyfriend? And also, I want you to pay attention. Like her, a girl like her, guys would approach her. I'm not saying she's like a, a knockout, but I'm saying guys would approach her. You would look at her just at first glance. So oh, this is a nice lady, you know. So this is this is this is why this is very telling. This is very telling. <laughs> um, yeah. So I how done... how how are you trying to steal Becky's boyfriend? Mm -hmm. I mean, I've been. I was raised properly. I'm not like. In other words, Kevin, like, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Thank you. Thank you. And would <laughs> Becky try to steal your boyfriend? Yes. I'm sorry. What? And would Becky try to steal your boyfriend? Yes. Mm -mm. Answer the question. You don't think? Excuse me. <laughs> now, right I mean, here, where like she smiles, trying. she knows that he's right. Right there, that smile told me everything. I was like, she knows. She knows she in the wrong. Let's continue. It, no, no, I didn't say, no, no, no. I need you to listen real carefully. <laughs> mm -hmm. Would Becky try to steal your medical student black boyfriend yes. if she were interested in him? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Thank you. That's why you lose. <laughs> You're calling a 52-year-old man to find a way to not compete. Exactly. You know where the men are. You see them. You're attracted to them. You ask them why they're with white women. He tells you why you're with white women. And instead of getting in there, beating Becky and taking her man, you look for somebody else. You guys don't think to fight. You want a man to lay down. Impossible. The kind of men you want, the top 3%, 1%, you're going to have to fight for them. Yeah, so my question was... And this I'm is not just a race thing on, on our end, because I know this is kind of like a black show right now, <laughs> like Star would say. Shout out to DJ Star, but look, if you looking for that top percentage person, whatever, and you're trying, if you, that's what you're trying to do, you're going to have to, you're going to have to compete. It's not just going to be just you. <laughs> Nobody's finna just lay down and just be your slave. You know, you you gotta put some skin in the game. I'll 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 make a comparison. It's almost like how 
a guy, I'm going to switch it to almost on the finance side, how guys are just trying to look for the hookup, trying to be friends with somebody. So uh, they, they, become, they become friends with their millionaire friends and then they can get some money real quick, you know, or on, on, some, on some music stuff. They try to get a network with, with, with some rich people, some, some, some rich music friends, just so they can get some money out of it. You know, that's, that's, that's not going to, that's not going to fly. And also one of my other favorite Kevin Samuels video was one of the girls. It's like, they're trying to, it's like a get rich quick scheme equivalent to a get rich quick scheme by getting one of those high value guys per se. It was a girl that's 27 with like a degree in sports reporting or something. And I'm like, what's her, her, her plan basically was to get into one of those ESPN things, even though that's impossible, that's only to the well-connected you can get those things. And she was just trying to see if she can catch one, one of those athletes. That was her plan. People actually look at this as a plan. Let's continue. <laughs> that, that, that one, maybe I'll bring that up on, on another day. That was telling, too. Already in that circle, I'm asking what else I could do. You haven't even tried. Uh, okay, ma'am, unless I mm. missed something, you said you haven't tried to take Becky's boyfriend. Mm. No, what I'm, I said you asked if Becky tried to take my boyfriend. I said, I said, have, no, I said mm. first, what, have you tried to take Becky's boyfriend? Mm. And you said, no, I wasn't raised that way. <laughs> That's excuses oh, yeah, right yeah. there. I know what I heard. <laughs> Why have you not tried to take Becky's boyfriend? Thank you. Is it a Thank you. <laughs> exactly. Thank you, black man. I want you to hear what she's saying. Say, just because it comes across sugar and spice and feminine, you still look for the bullshit. Exactly. Because I shouldn't have to fight for you. you he grilled her harder than the single mother because the single mother in the previous segment because I watched uh, the full stream. He actually took it easy on her because she's kind of a lost cause. Her, she's 21, right? This is somebody that the average dude would approach and then probably be upset why she ain't. This is the reason why. This is a common mindset, that average mindset. She's not even, I mean, if she don't even think that a black man you know, in medical school, got things going for himself, young himself. If a man like that is not worth fighting over, how about the rest of us? But I'll say this. If he was a, a rapper, she would fight over. If 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 let, let's let's go there. If, if he was a street dude. A pookie, you know, pookie Ray Ray, maybe. I don't. I don't seen people. I don't like. I said I don't seen girls with master's degrees messing with prisoners, or, or sorry, uh, people that used to be in prison, like people straight out of jail. I'm sorry, but straight out of prison. You know what I'm saying? I don't look. If 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 he was if if he was uh uh, uh I said athlete. Yeah, rapper. One of the, or entertainer, actor. She would try. Only until she get completely shut down, and then she's gonna, then she would turn around talking about black man ain't nothing, or uh, we 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 don't we don't we 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 we're not we're not we're not living up to our end of the deal. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm I'm now me personally, as as a man, I'm I'm not, I, I, I'm I'm behind, <laughs> I'm way behind. You know what I'm saying? But I'm talking about most dudes I know, they're really on their thing. They they really be 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 people, especially black 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 men. Black men are trying out here, you know. So let's let's continue on. Let's continue. You should be a one percent black man sitting there unattached, waiting for me. Bullshit. Mm hmm. Fight for him or buy a dog or get a lesser man. That's the answer. Exactly. Now what are you gonna do? <laughs> you gonna fight for him? Are you going to get a lesser man or buy a dog? Those are your options. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? I'm going to fight for him. Then go take Becky's boyfriend and don't ask me what should you do to, if you happen to. The way she says it, she's not going to do it. And like in her mind, she lost. Because I even could, I think she knows the answer. And even then, 
like I don't even she she knows in her heart there's nothing she could really do because she already in in her mind she already has her mind set so she's not even trying to change so this was very telling this I'm just saying this was very telling especially to the average dude like like I said like People wonder why, oh, man, why why black men, they do being in, in science or engineering, even though they are, or, 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 or all these other ones. They just want to be rapper, athlete, entertain, <laughs> entertainer, comedian, because you it seems like your, 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 your lady would respect you then, you know, or ladies would respect you then. You know, all that 90 days, 60 days bullshit will go out the window if you're one of those guys. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it is it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Um, Let's let's finish the clip. Find one that is unavailable. The unavailable unattached guy ain't the one you want. Exactly. Uh oh. <laughs> Every man you want is wanted by another woman. Knuckle the French toast up. Or watch Becky walk down the aisle and laugh at you. Exactly. And that's the that's the thing that's killing us right now because Becky is walking down the aisle. What what what's the Latina name? Maria is walking down the aisle with those successful black men. And even though they're finessing them, they're doing their part to like retain them. And you could say, oh, but they're different, but they're playing their part. They're do they're doing what needs to be done. You know, you can't just, you know, for, especially with the guys you want, they got options. Take the, you know, I always say girls like guys with options. If you don't got no girls, you ain't gonna get no girls. If you got women, you gonna get you gonna get girls. It's always like it's weird. Like in the time I remember, in, in the time of my life, it was one that was with me, and then it was like two other at the same time. But when, it, but when, but I'm talking about when I was all alone, I was done because I is that is that social proof? You need you need social proof. You know, Rolo Tomasi says it like, you know, women want to be with a man that men want to be, and women want to bang something like that. I think I think that was the right uh, somebody that men want. Yeah, some you have to be the man that man want to be and woman want to bang. Some yeah, that I think that's the quote. That's why you know the athletes, entertainers, the rappers, the celebrities, uh, the comedians. Um, who else? And sadly enough, the drug dealers, <laughs> the street, the street dudes. Let's continue. Harsh reality, but you said it. Becky would fight you. Yeah. Becky would try to take him from you, right? Yep. Why don't y'all learn from Becky? Because <laughs> a black man ain't nothing to be fought over. That's the truth, and that's no, the that's part. Not what I'm yeah, that's that's <laughs> true. You don't have to no. say it, but we know our culture. No, no. Yeah. All right then. Uh huh. Well, I wasn't raised that way. I wasn't this. I wasn't that. Uh huh. So Becky was raised wrong. She was raised to, so. Let me put that back on camera. So every other <laughs> woman that would know to fight for a high value man, they were raised wrong and you were raised right. No, what I said was hey, yo, the way you put her back on man, camera. I wasn't raised to just excuses intrude on that type of stuff. I excuses. thought we were raised. What do you mean intrude? Like, what do you mean intrude? In That's excuses. She full of cap right there. Girls, especially if you if you that dude, girls is finna try you. If you, especially if you like that, if you if you that do with that social proof, and you end up with a girl, girls are still gonna try you. They know what's up. So that's cap right there. Look, ma'am, either you're single or you're married. <laughs> that's some old school shit, right? But there. let me help you with something. <laughs> My aunt helped me get over this bullshit when I was young. I'm gonna help you. You ready for the help? Sure. My aunt told me, you try to play too nice, Kevin. Every time you find a woman that you like and she has a boyfriend, you try to do the nice and honorable thing and go find somebody else. 
that's a formula for being nice and alone. Same here. That happened to me too. Unless you are married, you are single. <laughs> Thank you to my aunt who is no longer here. She gave me a bit of advice that has helped me immensely over my life. It is blood sport. All is fair in war and what? <laughs> He's giving All her the game right there. What in war and what? Now, compared to these other clips where, you know, they like to leech onto the viral clips of Kevin Samuels and try to make him look like the bad guy. Now, I want to see them pick apart this clip and see where he's lying. See where he's hating black women wherever this 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 thing has come from born love love you want a man in the top one percent if he is unmarried he is what <laughs> he's giving her the game bro. thank you <laughs> Tell me what you weren't raised to do. You were raised to not fight for a black man. What you were raised to do. And I'm checking that shit. Fight for the black men you want or watch your top men go to Becky, Marisol, Malinga, Jamila, and you know goddamn well that they will cut your Achilles and your kneecaps just to sniff him. <laughs> See, they don't like when I tell them that. Man, bro. rest in peace to Kevin Say, I'm a Mr. They gonna clip man, this dude's funny, bro. Because because this is what happened. First of all, most black men marry black women. That's 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 fir that's first of all. Most black men marry black women. That's number one. Now number two. They look. They just focus on that top percentage. Those rich people. The rich black men don't marry black women. Now, is it all because of self hatred? I'm not saying self hatred though don't come into to no part, but. Is it all because of self-hatred or have we been getting, you know, have women been given the wrong information in terms of, you know, in terms of retaining a partner of that status? Are you, are you up to snuff? You know, it's not just about looks too, bro. It's not just about looks, especially when you when it comes to people of, of, of a certain status, it's not just about looks. Why can't people take. You know, they never take an example of a Savannah James, you know, LeBron James wife, you know. She had to put in some time before she got that ring from LeBron. She had to put in some time. She didn't get they were together. But they didn't get married until 2013, even though they had kids together and, and everything. But she had to put in some real time. She had to put some real skin in the game, um, you know, and most women will not take will not take that risk. Most women, I'm saying I'm saying in general, most women will not even take that risk. Because they don't want to get, you know, they shacking up the whole time and then. He's done, and then now what they what they what 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 that fear is? Okay, I wasted my youth with you when I could have been out there living my best life doing hot girl summer, but I spent it with you. <laughs> that's that fear right there. That's that that's that real female fear, you know. But um, that that right there. With that they're gonna be pissed. Oh, she, he wanting her sister to get out here and fight. You damn right. <laughs> you right. <laughs> Shout out to Kevin Samuels. He, he was needed because he calls out that stuff, man. And many men do not call out the nonsense. Why? Because at the end of the day, most dudes are just trying to get laid. Um, even Even the Tyrones and Chads that people be talking about, they don't like... It's almost like they got to step on. It's it's almost like they, you can't even have a real conversation about shit like this without a fight almost about to break out. It's almost like you got to walk on eggshells. He's literally walking on eggshells trying to get around. So what 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 usually happens is then the man they'll just they'll, they'll tell the girl what she wants to hear. Just you use her for for what she, what she, what she's used for 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 then and then just cut it off. 
and just try try to get away before and hopefully she don't get knocked up so she don't feel connect so she don't get connected you know that's that's what it that's what it is right now because you know like like i said uh, most women have been given the wrong information growing up by you know you know the media women of the past that were scorned and you know it's 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 a it's a bad trend but you know kevin samuels was a beacon of light you know what i mean even if you didn't agree with everything you said um I think he was very, he was a very powerful voice and well on his way to becoming a very, um, even more premier voice in, in not only, you know, like even the mainstream, you know what I'm saying? Um, You know, rest in peace to that man. That was really upsetting. But what was even more upsetting was the um, people celebrating his death. And I want people, like, like I said, with the Will Smith thing, I want people paying attention to the people celebrating. Pay attention to the woman that were celebrating his death. Pay attention to the men that were celebrating his death. Um, I want you to just, just you know, just, just, just pay attention. Pay attention. Pay, pay, pay close attention. You know what I'm saying? So... That's all for today. Rest in peace to a legend, you know, somebody who we will look back in a positive uh, light. I don't want to dwell too much on the responses. I've said what I need to say about that. Just pay attention. Um, you know, condolences to Kevin Samuels and his uh, uh, Kevin Samuels family and all those who are close to him, his friends, you know, the people that he put on. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, it, it's it's sad. But, like, you know, guys like that, I always try to uh, remember the good times. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to guys like that, I try to I, I try to bring out the positive. You know, clips like that, it makes me like, because he was a really, he was a funny dude, man. He was a funny dude, too. Very enter- entertaining. A self-made man. You know what I'm saying? The American dream right there. You know what I'm saying? So, salute to you. Big bro.